We have been practicing the U.S. traditional multiplication model. We started with two-digit by one-digit multiplication. It looks something like this. Fifty-six times seven. First, we multiply the ones. Seven times six is forty-two, meaning I have two ones and four tens left over. Then, seven times five is thirty-five plus four is 39. Our answer is 392. We then moved into even more digits, three by one, and it looks something like this. 264 times seven. Again, I start with my ones. Seven times four is twenty-eight. Eight in the ones, carry the two. Then seven times six. Forty-two plus these two is forty-four. So I bring a four down and carry my four up here. My next step is to multiply seven and two, which is 14, plus four is 18. My answer is 1,848. Then we took it even one step further and did a four digit by one digit multiplication problem looked something like this. 2,192 times 3. 3 times 2 ones is 6. 3 times 9 tens is 27 tens. So I bring my 7 and the two up here. Three times one hundred is three plus two is five. So I bring my five down. Then I have two thousand times three, which is six. So my answer is six thousand five hundred seventy six. Now, it's always a good thing to check your work, either with the lattice method, the partial product, the area model. So let's do that. If I choose to do the lattice, it's going to look something like this. 2,192 times 3. Three times two is six. Three times nine is twenty-seven. Three times one is three. Three times two is six. And we go through six, seven, five, six. Was that the same answer we got? You bet. Now that we're comfortable with multiplying multi-digits by one digits, we took it a step further and started doing double-digit U.S. traditional. So let's look at this problem. 37 times 5. 25, that is. First, we're ignoring the 2, and I'm going to multiply 5 and 7, which is 35, carry my 3. Then I'm going to multiply my 3 and 5. That's 15. Plus 3 is 18. Do you see how everything is lined up? 
That's the key here. Next, I have a zero to hold my spot, or you can write an X. Two times seven is 14. A four underneath the eight, and I carry that one. Two times three is six, plus one is seven. And then I add it. Zero plus five is five. Eight plus four is 12. Carry the one. Seven plus one is eight. Eight plus one is nine. 925. Again, always double check your work. So, today, we are on lesson 2.8. We are taking it even one step further. Two, multi-digit numbers multiplied by two-digit numbers. So if we take the number 506 times 43. Again, I always start at the right and work my way. Three times six is 18. There's my eight. Carry the one. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. That's what I multiplied. Here's my answer. Next. 3 times 5. 15. Bring that right down, because I don't have a thousandth digit. Then, I start all over again. 0 to mark my spot, because I'm not doing my 1s from the... Uh, 43 anymore. I'm done with that. 4 times 6 is 24. There's my 4. Carry the 0. Or carry the 2. I'm sorry. Above the 0. Then you need to do 0 times 4. It's getting a little sloppy. I know. Plus the 2 is just a 2. Last but not least, I'm going to do a yellow color. 5 times 4. And that's 20. Now I need to add them. 8 plus 0 is 8. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. 1 plus 0 is 1 and 2. My answer is 21,758. Again, you can do partial products. You can do... The area model, you can do the lattice. What if we took it one step further and decided to do a traditional model? I'm sorry. We could do a three digit if we wanted. Or we can skip it. Let's practice a three digit. So if we had a three digit, let's say it was 500 or 457 times 309. First step, seven times nine is 63. Nine times five is forty five plus six is fifty one. Nine times four is thirty six plus five is forty one. Now I have a zero. And then zero times seven is zero. Zero times five is zero. Zero times four is zero. So I have a whole row of zero. So I just left them all green. So now we have to do two zeros. Let's do that in blue. So my ones and my tens are taken care of. These are taken care of. Three times seven is 21. Three times five is fifteen plus two is seventeen. Let's do a pink color. 
3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. So I'm going to write it real tiny right there. Not the best part of lining up. 3 plus 0 plus 0 is 3. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 4 plus 7 is 11. And 13 plus 1 is 14. So 14,100... I'm sorry. 141,213. Let's take a look at your homework. Here's home link 2A, choosing multiplication strategies. Choose one problem to solve using U.S. traditional multiplication. Solve the other problems using any strategy. So for one, you must use U.S. traditional. Then you can do anything you like. Stratus, partial product, the area model. But make sure you choose one that is accurate and efficient. Show your work. I'm going to highlight that. Show your work. Always show your work so we can see your thinking. Now, remember, there's that word estimate. To estimate, one to four, we round down. Five to nine, we round up. So let's look at number one. I have a nine in the ten spot. We're going to round that to 200. And a five in the ones, we're going to round that up to 30. That equals, well, 2 times 3 is 6. We know that. Oh, my 6. And then how many zeros do I need? Three zeros. You're right, because there's three zeros there. So this problem, I'm going to do the U.S. traditional model. I'm going to rewrite it so I can work big. 198 times 25. 5 times 8 is 40. Here's my 0, and I carry my 4. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 4 is 49, and here's my 4. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 4 is 9. 990. Now, I'm going to switch colors. 0. Cross that 5 off. We used it. We don't need it anymore. 2 times 8 is 16. Carry my 1. 2 times 9 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. And then 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 1 is 3. Now we need to add. Zero plus zero is zero. Nine plus six is 15. I'm gonna carry my one. Nine plus nine is 18, plus one is 19. 4,950. Four not quite close to our 6,000 estimate, but close enough. Let's look at number two. So make sure you have this copied down for number one. Number two. Again, I'm going to estimate four. We're going to round down. To 600 and 200 we're gonna run down to 200 that gives us 120,000 now let's do our multiplication I like the US traditional model so I'm gonna stick with it so I have 642 times 207 7 times 2 is 14 Carry my 1. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 1 is 29. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 2 is 44. Changing my color. This one just has a few more steps, so not as many color changes. 0. And then I'm going to just write three more zeros 
because anything times zero is zero. Cross off that zero. Now I have two more. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Two times six is twelve. Now I do my adding. So four plus zero plus zero is four. Nine plus zero plus zero is nine. Four plus four is eight. Eight plus four is twelve. So carry that. One plus two is three and one. Here's my estimate. That was my estimate. Here's my answer. 132,894. So you should have something similar on your paper or the lattice or partial products. I'm again going to erase. And let's do one more together. So I have 420. We're going to look at that too and round down to 400 times. Look at that one. Equals 40. That's 16,000. Now let's get ready to multiply. 420 times 41. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 4 is 4. Same exact thing. Cross that 1 off, we are done with it. Drop down that 0. 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 4 is 16. Now we have to add them together. Nice blue color. 0 plus 0 is 0, 2 plus 0 is 2, 4 plus 8 is 12, Carry that one. Six plus one is seven. And then one more. Add my comma. My answer is 17,220. 17,220. Try four and five on your own. Those are a little more challenging, but you need to estimate and look for what you're going to multiply together, and I'm pretty sure you'll get it. Very simple. And don't forget the ones at the bottom for practice.